Today on the Gem Cutters Craft, we're live at the Tucson Gem Show in Tucson, Arizona, and we're going to be looking at the brand new Dreamer Portable. What are we looking at here? What is this new machine? Uh, it's the new version about the Dreamer. We call the Dreamer Portable. And then they just want, I just want to bring this kind of machine, and then I go to the worldwide, go to the mine, and I can, I can cut the stone directly, and then I can use them. It's easy to care, and, but it still have his uh, precision. And so this is basically a smaller version of the Dreamer that you came out with, what, one or two years ago? Or two or three years ago? Yeah, uh, the small version is just come, came out in two months before. I just want to, because in this year, I, I will uh, start to go to the uh, another kind of uh, many mines and because after the COVID, I have the time to, to, to uh, travel. So right now I just want to, uh, when I travel, I can uh, do my work in the same time. Yeah, to cut the hustle. So, the, so you, you wanted to have a small machine just so you would have a machine that you could take around for yourself. Yeah. That was the first idea. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the materials. Obviously the most striking feature, it's all carbon fiber. So why did you, why did you decide to do it like this? Because the carbon fiber have uh, some uh, very good uh, uh, criteria. Like it's three times stronger than the aluminum. And then he's half, uh, half weight about the aluminum. Yeah, between it and then so strong enough so we can use the uh my motor it can it can it's strong enough to carry this one and then after that uh the whole whole weight i have to uh control under 10 kilogram so the main something we can we can put in the bag and then we can just carry on okay now i know some people see this and they're thinking oh carbon fiber maybe it can shatter Maybe it can break. Is, yeah. is there a danger of this or, or you think it's, it's fine as far as a material for such a aggressive kind of activity? Actually, I just uh, love to try uh, different kinds of material to try to make the, uh, uh, the machine better. So because in, 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 the, in the past of a year, we just use the metal. But right now the technique is grown. So uh, the, the like carbon fiber, it's strong enough, it's good enough to use. So I just combine the different kinds of metal and then try it. Okay. And you had, in the, in the big version of the Dreamer, some of the parts are already carbon fiber, right? You, you, yeah. I think the, yeah, the actual the, the, mask the arm? Yeah, the mask, mask, yeah. Okay. And is this the same Dreamer head as before, or this is a smaller version of the head too? Mm, yeah. It's the same? It's the same. Okay. So, okay, tell us a little bit about the features. Talk, talk to us about the head, because obviously this is an exciting part. You know, you've got all the, all the this one. controls there, yeah. Yeah, uh, we just want to design the head. It can very easy to maintain. So uh, all the movement is easy, and then you don't, you don't need to worry that if we cut the stone, the dust go inside, and then we cannot, we, you, will, you will lose the precision. And, and now, the, this kind of uh, machine is very simple. So we, we designed the gravity here. So you don't need to worry after your hand just take off and then the stone will still fall down or just will hit to other place. It, they, will, they will go directly up. Okay. Okay. So that's what, what we do. And then it's accurate to the, its ro uh, resolution is 0 0.001. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And his precision is zero point zero one. Okay. It's different. Right. And and I use a very accurate sensor, even though that this kind of sensor is cheap, uh, it's still in the in lab, and I joined the, the plan this this plan. So right now it's the first uh, uh, the sensor is the first time used in this kind of machine, also in is in in the industry. Okay. Yeah. And so you've got, I see you can loosen the, as far as to go up and down on the mast, you can loosen it and jump up and down, yeah. but then you've got the fine angle control or the fine height control here. Yeah. So this one is, you can go fast to, to adjust the height. And then after that, uh, you can just turn this 
to get more uh, small distance to, to make. So pitch distance, it go around is uh, 0.005 millimeter per uh, scope here. Yeah. Okay, per, for, per line? Yeah, per line. Cool. Yeah. And then, so what about the controls down here? What are all these buttons doing? Um, this button, like these two, they will control the speed. And our motor is go directly to the, to the lab. Oh. So uh, they will show the RPM. That's the direct RPM. Okay. Yeah. And then this one, this two one is the light. So that's only one watt, but it's strong enough. And then they can control from uh, uh, from zero percent to the one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. And because that's the portable version, so we need to very easy to remove and then to put build up. So you can see that like is so. Oh. That's the guitar. Wow, plus. just a guitar cable. Yeah. So okay. cool. So you can easily to when you pull up and the light is working. Wow. Yeah. So that's pretty simple. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And then I think that's some designer's idea. Yeah, it's a small idea inside. We just want to make everything uh, easy to to use. Okay. But we still keep the, the, the accurate. Because what we do, we just cut up precision facility, yeah. And then so, okay, I see, I, I've, as I was looking at it, I see USB slots in different places. So what are, is there other things happening here? You can charge your phone off this or something too? Yeah, sure, here. Okay. There is a place and then you can use the USB charger and they do have one uh, type C uh, charge. And then this head <clears throat> also, they, they just plug the, Oh, okay, so the head's powered off of a USB cord. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So then also, how do you turn the head on? Hmm? This one. This. So they just turn and then they will show the angle degree yeah. here. Yeah. Cool. And so then you're currently running it with your Dreamer lap. So you guys make laps as well. Yeah. But you can also just use any six inch laps. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the hole is the same. Uh, size. Okay, so, so any of the normal American laps? You can use it. And then, so what's the idea with the, you've got this big stand on here with the iP iPad. Oh, iPad. <laughs> it doesn't come with the iPad though, right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't no. come. But it's very good in when, when, you, when you cut a stone. Maybe your diagram and some, some space, something like this, you can show here. Also, uh, usually I will use the MacBook and then just go direct to, to change the, the view it will come here okay. so I can I can control just as a second monitor yeah and cool. if you cut in and feel a little bit boring maybe the YouTube yeah. <laughs> okay. you, can, you, can, you can see it yeah. and, and so then for the water bottle you're just using a normal bottle but I'm guessing this is just so to make it very light and portable yeah uh, they can just change the the cap okay yeah so you don't provide the bottle but you provide the cap in that tube and then they bring their own water bottle right Right. Cool. Uh, and so I, you told me before, so, that, so no matter where you're traveling, Europe, America, Asia, the power is always good. It, it runs on the all world power. Yeah, because that's the uh, medical grade. Uh, it's very strong from, from 90 uh, to 250. Yeah, so if, if you have the AC uh, power, you can go directly to use. Don't, no, no need to uh, have any name it. Okay, Maybe the, no converters or nothing. And then, uh, so w if you pack it all up, and let's say you're gonna, you are gonna go to the mine, you know, you're gonna fly somewhere, you pack everything up. What's the total weight of the package with a couple laps and stuff? Uh, less than eight kilogram. Eight kilograms. Yeah, less than wow. eight kilogram. So uh, the the usually we'll use the camera packet. Wow. Uh, and then we can we can. So carry this it. is like this is about half the weight of my machine, <laughs> but that doesn't include any of my. Uh, you know, I need a big power adapter and all this stuff. So that's pretty good. So you can. Did you take it in the overhead in the airplane? Yes. You've done this. Actually, uh, this time I come from Taiwan, but I trans uh, transfer in Hong Kong airport. So I I bring all the machine and the suitcase, and then I I just carry out wow. in the plane. Yeah. Okay. And also, I, I have some. Uh, I I just take some photos in the Hong Kong airport. <laughs> with oh, okay. The machine. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. 
So you were telling me about the bearings. Tell me, tell me more about the bearings. There's, there's ceramic bearings, so they're not yeah. the normal uh, kind of bearings that we see in other faceting machines. Yeah, okay, we just uh, try to use another kind of uh, material. And the ceramic bearing, they can very easy to take care. Because usually the, the bearing inside, they have the oil inside, right? But the ceramic bearing, they don't need the oil go inside. Also, it protects very well, so the dust, the water, it cannot go inside. And that it can make you to very easy to clean and to maintain. Because we don't want the dust to, to uh, against his uh, precise. Yeah. So that's a, a very diff, a different, very special material we use. Okay. Will you flip the head around so that we can see the hard stop? And just tell us a little bit about how that works. Oh, yeah. So this is, this is a similar hard stop to any other type of mast machine. Yeah, because hard stop just a function. And then actually when we cut the stone, maybe in some process, we don't need to use the hard stop. Yeah, it still can work. Right. Like in the polishing, maybe you're gonna yeah. not use the hard stop. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But sh will you show us, how does it, how does it work? Uh, this one, they have a surface, so they will hit the, this uh, tool. When he touch this way, the, uh, you, you cannot go lower. Right. Yeah, so they just lock. Mm -hmm. Hot stop just a function. And so then you can use this, that's the fine adjustment, but that's literally, that's the stop too, right? Yeah, if I got the power again, so you just adjust here, that the angle will go. And you can, you can, uh, display uh, here and then to see what's the accurate angle you want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see it's very precise. Yeah. And stable, very stable to use. And so what's the uh, RPM minimum and maximum? How fast and slow can it go? Uh, in this machine, uh, the real RPM, its maximum is to 3000 RPM. But for us, uh, it's too dangerous. So we just uh, control the function. So we, we, yeah, right now it's limited to the 1000 RPM. Okay. Usually what, what we cut, we just uh, lower than five, five, uh, 500 RPM to, to work. Okay. Yeah, so the 1000 is totally enough. Okay. And then I see another button here that looks like it's gonna flip it the other way so you can go forwards and backwards. Yeah, here. That's, uh, you can return uh, counter clock, uh, clock white here. So they will just stop and then for two seconds and then turn wow, another okay. side. So, the, so there's no chance of damaging the motor. It's, you have a uh, yeah, computer yeah. control basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so since the motor is directly on the, the drive, there's no noise, right? Because uh, I know a lot of the sound, the noise of a fasting machine is the belt squeaking, yeah. but you have no belt, right? Yeah. So, uh, actually, we use the bell in the in the in the in the motor, and then if we just go directly, the sounds can get quieter. Quiet, basically. yeah, quieter, and then also the precision because the the, the motor's precision then it can make the lap not damping, okay. and then uh, go direct to the to the lap. Mm, you don't need to worry about like some some machine you have to maintain it because after that the, the strong the power is uh, go to different direction so uh, maybe use for for six months or more one year maybe you have to repair the bearing that side yeah cool yeah so it can be very quiet because usually I, I when I working I need a very quiet environment I have to lessen the stone when they when they even uh, whatever the the grinding or polish just say, maybe we should mention the table adapter just because I see it right there. Yeah. So you guys are doing, mm -hmm. this is designed to work the same as a, any other sort of mast machine. So when you're going to do your table, mm -hmm. you're going to set it to maybe what, 45 degrees or does it, uh, does it matter? It doesn't matter, but the degree is higher is, uh, is better, like, like this one. We just, uh, finally we, we confirmed that the adapter's angle is uh, 60 degrees. Okay, so yeah. so this is made for sixty degrees. Yeah. I mean that table adapter. Yeah. So you can get more stable uh, table when you when you cut the table. Okay. Yeah. Because actually in this kind of uh, function, we still we, we can go direct to the zero degree 
and then to cut the table. It's okay, but it's not uh, easy to control because the lab surface is not very flat always. So when in this time, uh, if you uh, transfer to another degree, like like usually we cut the perfil, it's more uh, stable. But when we cut the crumb, maybe go to the uh, C1, C3, and then go to the table. And when the degree is lower, it's not easy to control. Yeah. So we just try the 60 degree. In our Actually, sure. any any degree is okay. I mean, 45, 60 is okay. Yeah. But that one's made for 60. Oh uh, yeah, it's okay. made for 60. Cool. Yeah. Thanks to Daniel and his team for coming over and showing us the brand new Dreamer Portable. I'll put all the links down below so you can check it out online, check out the price, and order one if you so desire. See you next time on the Gem Cutters Craft.